What is that, my buttery biscuits? Y'all, we're gonna have some extra calming noise in the background today because it has been raining all day. Actually, it's been raining for 24 hours straight here in California. And y'all, that's like super, super rare. I have to say my backyard is literally flooded. We have like that fake grass back there. And it's like falling underneath water right now. And I'm like, um, hopefully that's gonna be okay. It's really bad. Honestly, y'all, it's so crazy. When I was a kid, I used to love the rain. And then now that I'm older, I'm like, ugh, it's such an inconvenience. I'm kind of over it. Anyways, as you guys can tell by the title of, the title of today's video, we're gonna be talking about Nikita Dragon, which a low key. I feel like it's been ages since we've heard from her. Y'all know that she had that like mental breakdown. Well, I don't know if it was a mental breakdown or if there was like substance abuse going on. You know what I mean? In uh, Miami, I want to say it was. Y'all, the security cam footage just got leaked, and I am um kind of curious on how that even happened. A lot of these times, I'm just so mind blown how this could even happen. Dealing with like you know um law enforcement or government officials. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't know if you guys remember with like Kobe Bryant, how images got released. I'm like. Who is out there spreading these things? Do you know what I mean? I know like mug shots and things like that for Nikita Dragon, they're made public. I totally get that. But as far as like body cam footage, is that something that is made public? Because I really do think this would have came out a lot sooner because this did happen so long ago. And I'm just really curious at how, like, I don't know, like, how that goes about. Because you just think, like, okay, like, you're a cop, you're working in law enforcement, you're working for the government, or you're working for the county, or you're working for the city, whatever the case may be. It's like, how do you have this leak? Do you know what I mean? So we're going to be talking about that today as well, talking about her arrest. You know what's really weird is just the other day, she actually, like, made a tweet and... I'll find the tweet. Actually, I don't even have it right now, but I'll go look for it and then I'll show you guys that I'm like, oh, I guess maybe she's like making a comeback. Also, another thing too is I'm so curious is what's up with uh, Dragon Beauty. As you guys know, a lot of people, a lot of influencers really did like her setting powders and her products. So I'm like, I wonder just what happened with her. I kind of feel like, you know, I don't know. In my personal opinion, I feel like it's a lot of fame. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like that fame got to her and just really drove her a little bit crazy because y'all, she really did blow up there for a minute. I feel like she was like, she had like paparazzi following her and I'm I'm like, you know what? I really feel like other influencers, say for example, like Manny MUA or Laura Lee, like they don't have, you know, paparazzi following them and stuff. And I'm like, Nikita Dragon, there was. I never knew if it was really fake or not with Nikita Dragon. As you guys know, like she made up a lot of things that I'm just kind of like, I don't know if it was real or not. But from the pictures I saw, it looked to be real. But anyways, we're going to be talking about that within today's video. Do not forget, I have a new podcast. I am so excited, y'all. I, I literally love that podcast. Like it's so fun. It'll be linked down below as well as my travel channel. So make sure you guys go show some love over there and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all. So I want to go ahead and start this off by showing you guys that she actually has been super absent on Twitter for a long time as well as other social media platforms, but she hasn't posted anything. Well, recently she just posted something six days ago, but before that, her last post was uh, from September. And then before that, her last post was from October of 2022. It has been a long time since she has been on social media recently, just six days ago of me filming this, um, she had posted Dragon is Coming with a series of pictures of herself which low-key y'all i saw that and i was like i'm like wondering like where has she been what has she been going through maybe she went to some type of rehab maybe she went to i don't know like therapy something you know what i mean because i remember right before she had got arrested there was like a series of events that she was just acting really really bizarre and i couldn't tell because i'm like look i feel like a lot of people when they're having like a mental health like breakdown sometimes it'll come across like they're on drugs do you know what i mean but i didn't know if her if it was like substances or if it was her mental health i really don't don't know but nonetheless i really do hope that she got the help that she needed but i want to say y'all whatever it is she has been gone for a hot minute because i was going over articles because i wanted to like re-talk about it just that way you guys have context before showing you guys the body cam footage um the last post of this was from page six, and this was posted on November 8th of 2022. That's how long it's been. So that's why I'm like, I'm so tripped out that this body cam footage just got leaked and like literally just got leaked like two days ago. So I'm like, this is so long ago. Like wouldn't have had leaked like way back then. Cause I have heard before that like, there'll be like, you know, law officers or like, you know, cops or whatever who have images of like this person or that person or videos of this person or that person. I heard before that they'll sell them to TMZ, you know, to make money on the side. But I'm like, why would to come out so much later you know anyways i do want to read this article from page six and once again this is what i'm saying like i feel like nikita dragon low-key was on a little bit of like celebrity status because page six was talking about her tmz like all these like blogs that are mainly for celebrities were talking about nikita dragon 
And I just think it's really crazy because I feel like unless it's like a really big deal, I don't feel like TMZ talks about influencers. You know what I mean? So having Nikita Dragon on here was kind of crazy. But this was actually posted once again in November 8th of 2022. So it's been a hot minute. She's been MIA for a long time, y'all. This is what it says. Nikita Dragon arrested charged with felony battery on a police officer. So it says Nikita Dragon was arrested on Monday night after she was caught walking around a luxury Miami hotel pool naked. TMZ reported that the YouTuber who's real name is Nikita uh, Nguyen, had allegedly been walking around the pool area in her birthday suit and being disorderly for hours. Hotel staff claimed that when they asked her to put her clothes back on, she intentionally threw water on them, which is when the cops were called. Also, I do want to say this because I recently did talk about like the whole... Um, well, I didn't recently talk about it. I guess it's been a minute ago now. But about Britney Spears, that she was at the Beverly... Was it the Beverly Hilton? The Beverly Hills Hotel? I don't know. And she was basically, like, walking around that place naked, too. And I'm like, okay, like... This just goes to show that clearly if you don't know how to act in public, like you may need a little bit of help. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of times people, specifically with Britney Spears, will be like, oh, let her live, let her do her thing. And I'm like, no, she needs help. Like, let's keep it real. You know what I mean? But there's so many people out there who are just like, I don't know, they feel like they have to like ride or die for everything that she does. And I look at her, and I'm like, oh, she still needs help, you know, which I totally understand. And I feel like in my personal opinion... If this was a mental health break of Nikita Dragon, I feel like this was her sign, like, okay, girl, you need help. Do you know what I mean? Once again, I do not know if there was any substances involved, but let's go ahead and continue on. This is what it says right here. However, by the time the police got there, the 26-year-old had retreated to her hotel room and was blasting loud music. In an attempt to get her under control, police officers and hotel security knocked on her door several times before she finally greeted them. But when they told her she needed to abide by the hotel rules, she allegedly slammed the door. Dragon then allegedly opened the door and told officers officers do you want more before throwing a water bottle at them she was arrested on the spot Following the incident, the influencer who boasts 8.9 million followers on Instagram was booked for felony battery on a, uh, uh, on a police officer, misdemeanor disorderly conduct, and misdemeanor battery. The social media star was booked at Miami-Dade County Turner's Guilford Knight Correctional Center. However, it's unclear if she's been released. Reps for Dragon Beauty founder did not immediately respond to page six for comment. This isn't the first time Dragon has been caught up in controversy since rising to social media fame nearly a decade ago. Um, y'all so this just obviously goes on into other things i do specifically want to talk about her being a arrested also what i thought was a little bit weird too is i think that she was at this hotel alone like even watching back the um body cam footage and stuff i was like damn so she was over there just like turning up on her own or what because obviously everyone was thinking like oh she's drunk or maybe she's on this or that you know what i mean but y'all since she got arrested i'm really curious anyways i'm gonna play a small portion of her um body cam footage so that way you guys can see just for context um there is way more that is posted on tiktok i just don't want to post the full thing on here because i'm like i don't know if that's like even allowed i guess we're gonna find out because i've never posted any like body cam footage but i have seen other clips on youtube before so i'm like i think it's allowed but we're gonna find out but anyways go ahead and check it out if you get, not put you out, you want more? You one more company, don't do that you're gonna get you're gonna go to jail if you do that if you get it don't do that don't do that you do not have to do that what are you doing can you please let go of the bag what are you doing? I got you. How much longer do I do this shit? I'm only responding to the gays and the girls. What? Please let go of your bag. No. Don't make me ask somebody to smite your ass. But please don't do that. Keep that silencio. Leon, silencio. Hi. I'm here for social. I'm here for you. Please face forward. That water hit me too, by the way. Oh, you didn't like that? No, I didn't. You didn't like getting wet? Then stand out of the way. I was out of the way. Okay, well then, don't let a fucking motherfucker ever step to me. Please don't do that. There's no need for that. Oh. There is no need to act the way you're acting right now. What's the way I'm acting? Okay. At the end of the day. Let go of this. Let go of this. Please. Let go of this. Say please. Say please. You're going to escalate this. No, I'm not. Let's go. For absolute no reason. Where's escalating? Please Listen to me. Yes. 
We're giving you a lawful order. Okay. You are under arrest. Okay, great. We're asking you to let go of that. I'm not going to. Okay. I'm not going to. Take it from me. So as y'all can see from right there, y'all, honestly, I was watching that and I was like, whoa, she is a hot mess. Like I said, once again, and you know what's really crazy is like watching this back and like people bringing back up the news articles and stuff that were posted on her. Nobody still really knows like what happened, like if it was a mental health break or if it was like, you know, like I said, a substance abuse, you know what I mean? Nonetheless, I hope regardless, she got her help. And I really do hope that she learns and grows from this because, whoa, like you cannot be acting like that. And I do have to say, like, she's really lucky to even be charged with only a misdemeanor because I do believe a misdemeanor does come off of your record. However, I think a felony is permanent. So I'm really surprised that they only charged her with that because especially being that she is like literally throwing water at a cop and like going crazy on them. And then y'all, she like fell to the ground and was like, oh, I need to be carried. I need to be carried. I'm like, whoa. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I just feel like uh, low key watching that back. I feel kind of bad for her because obviously she was really going through something. And I'm just really curious to know what the future holds from her. Like, is she going to make a comeback? Is she going to do like a story time and kind of like open up on like what happened? Because I really am curious to know. And on top of that, too. I think a lot of her followers and supporters are really curious to know like, oh, okay, like what was it? Do you know what I mean? Like, were you intoxicated? Were you going through a mental health crisis? Like, what was it? In my personal opinion, I really do feel like it was probably something mental health related because she has been gone for a while and I do feel like she just needed that cleanse of like social media. Do you know what I mean? Because y'all social media can be really, really toxic. But anyways, make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scout.